Do you know that Google has just rolled out Bard? It is a competitor to OpenAI GPT-4. This is what I'm going to test it out against GPT-4. Let's dive in now. Guys, you can see that now I'm in the dashboard of this Bard.google.com and on my right hand side of the screen is actually a chat uh, OpenAI where I'm using GPT-4 uh, in the chat GPT plus uh, platform. So before we do that, uh, let me talk about a little bit about this bug. Bug uh, is made by Google, which is the solution to compete with uh, GPT-4 uh, from a open AI. So yesterday, Bug actually uh, rolled out uh, this uh, beta invite uh, for people who are in US, UK, you know, to test it out. So I signed up uh, using my Google email and this morning I woke up and I saw it, I can use it uh, in my dashboard already so without further ado uh, let me do some simple test and see what is it all about uh, for this part okay let's uh, go over to the dashboard on the left hand side you can see that you know uh, this part has a quite a clean uh, what they call usual uh, user interface so you can see that what is a uh, on the left hand side, the first menu is you can see that there is a bug activity where you store your history of your prompt. And FAQ is something that, you know, here you can see that uh, they explain what is bug all about, the history, and do, does bug give accurate, uh, safe responses? You no, know? as we know that bug is experimental, same as uh, open AI, there will be sometimes uh, inaccurate or maybe some unsafe responses so to speak you can see that all the other FAQ is under here if you are interested you can actually go through and but activity setting so you can actually uh, set your privacy setting here if you do not want to record your activity on but you can actually click it uh, untick it so without further ado let's go into but uh, into details so as usual uh, there is a prom uh, area here and for GPT-4, it's also the same. You have a prompt over the other, or the end of the page. So this is the prompt. So let's do some tests uh, to, to see whether which one is better. But I believe that part is actually uh, still experimental and they just actually rolled out uh, yesterday. I believe there will be a lot of bugs as well and also improvement is needed. Okay, let me do some tests, uh, design some tests first. I would like to copy this, uh, put it in the prompt here. Uh, let me ask but suggest some interesting blog topics about GPT-4. Using the same prompt, we also ask uh, this uh, GPT plus uh, GPT-4 engine to give us some suggestion on blog topics about GPT-4. Let's click uh, submit so that uh, both can actually give us some answers now. As you can see, both are spinning. Oh, GPT-4 is actually uh, much faster. It's already have some output. Oh, and we have some answers from Bart already. Uh, the icon doesn't spin that long, but the, the output is actually immediate. But GPT-4 is still uh, rolling out the output. Uh, one by one on the interesting topic about GPT-4. Let's look at the left hand side where we actually see some of the interesting topic of GPT-4 and they have actually how many? One, two, three, four, five topics suggested by Bart. And bear in mind that this is uh, something that we have seen first time and all the answers are actually formatted into H1 or H2, or maybe we call it a formatting uh, where is some of the topics or the block topics in bold. And there is some description of the block topics that is suggested. So on the right hand side, uh, GPT-4 is still running and they have so many topics. Not only eight, now they are counting, I think they're going to give 10 or more, I believe. So let's see, uh, let's wait for a little while before we actually comment further. And over the left hand side, uh, Google's bug actually give 
one, two, three, four topics, five topics of uh, this GPT-4 block ideas. Okay, we have 10 topics over here on the right-hand side and five topics over the left-hand side from back. Okay, let's uh, go into the GPT-4 block topics suggested by OpenAI. GPT-4, a deeper dive into the world of language model. So this is the topic suggestion. And the comment after that is actually the, a little bit about detail on what to write. So this is quite a lengthy kind of a suggestion on the block topics. Okay. From here, you can see that, you know, uh, I would say that GPT-4 gives better suggestion or maybe more rounded suggestion on the block topic where they have a longer titles of most of them and give more uh, suggestion on the longer topics. But over here, uh, the topics title for this uh, suggested by Buck is actually shorter. No, from here is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven words, less than seven words. You know, most of them. On on the right hand side, you can see that uh, ChatGPT suggested uh, the blog topics have uh, maybe about ten or maybe seven character, uh, seven words or more. So I can say that in summary. Uh, GPT-4 actually give a more rounded suggestion on the block topics and a little bit more details. So this is what we have uh, seen so far. And the next step is actually going to do, I'm going to do is uh, ask them to write the block outline you know, on one of the topics. So let's suggest uh, use one of the topics. For example, maybe here, uh, Maybe we use this one, GPT-4 for business driving innovation and productivity. Okay, let's copy. Over here, we're going to use the same topic basically. Let me uh, type it out. Please write me a, a, a blog a blog outline of GPT-4 for business driving innovation and productivity. And we will do the same for both. Uh, use the same prompt for both, for GPT-4 as well as a part. So let's begin and see how the outline being uh, generated by both uh, engine. You can see that you no, know, but while the icon is spinning, actually they are writing behind, but they don't display it yet. Oh, we have already have the topics in from but. Okay, they have an introduction. How GPT-4 is being used by business. The benefits of using GPT-4 for business. The challenges of GPT-4 for business. You know, the future of the GPT-4 for business. This is actually the H2 tag, I believe. So you can see that this is a general outline. And from here, I would say that you no, know, it's actually quite generic, you know, uh, the output by bug. But of course, it's workable. You know, you want to write a block outline, this could be a simple outline. And from the right hand side, <clears throat> you can see that you know the block topic for GPT-4 written by uh, OpenAI. Basically, they have a good title. The title. Uh, not the title is the same, you know. We asked them to write a GPT-4 for business driving innovation and productivity for both titles. And you can see that GPT-4 actually write better outline. First, they have introduction, a brief overview, importance, and potential of GPT-4. So the introduction, the uh, the introduction is actually very good. You know, they have to focus on three, three uh, subtopics, you know, or subcontent. Then they have a lot of uh, maybe a longer block outline and they are still writing, you know. <laughs> so I would, from here, I can see that, you know, GPT-4 actually much better than uh, Bart, you know, in terms of output, you know, while writing a block outline. So this is a very simple uh, conclusion that I have. So they are writing the conclusion right now here. So you can see that uh, GPT-4 write you a better output. So from here, we can see that, you know, uh, Bart, 
uh, might have to improve their output or maybe the way that you know they generate the output okay next i think we can actually ask them some to do some other question or maybe to generate some other things let me think of what can i do to to write maybe we ask them to do something that is uh, out of usual okay i can ask both of them to write me a joke about taking the wrong bus to school to my school okay let me do that as well in this uh, chat gpt let's go i click the <laughs> okay, you can see that uh, Bart actually tried to write something uh, about a joke. I took the wrong bus to school today. I ended up in a different city altogether. I guess I will just have to start a new life there. So I'm not sure whether this is a joke or not. Okay, let me see what is the uh, opening I say. Why did student end up at the wrong end up? At, art museum instead of school <clears throat> they took the wrong bus and got a monet for their education looks better sounds better but of course this is just a, a random kind of a joke you know? so this is how we test this uh, bug against uh, gpt4 use uh, while writing a joke okay let me ask this uh, bar and also gpt4 uh, is but better than GPT-4 or bad? GPT-4 is better than but. Uh, let me phrase the question. Put it here, the prompt. Let's start the question. Is but better than GPT-4? Same for but Google. You no, know? uh, we ask the same question. Okay, but I have actually give up the answer already and GPT-4 is still writing. Let's uh, see how it goes uh, eventually. Comparing, so GPT-4 is still writing. Okay, you can see that, you know, uh, GPT-4 is still right. Okay, they have completed writing. Let's go into detail. Uh, for Google, uh, GPT-4 and BART are both large language models that can generate text, you know, and they are both still under development, but they have different, they have the potential to, to revolutionize the way we communicate with computer. It is difficult for, to say that, Two is better, uh, which two is better, as they both have their own strengths and weaknesses. GPT-4 is more powerful than BART, but it is more expensive. BART is more affordable, but it's not as powerful as GPT-4. If ultimately, the best way to design for both of two is to actually try them out yourself. You know? So it's a neutral answer. Okay, for GPT-4, answer is, okay, the I cannot provide the subjective opinion, but I can provide some information about comparison about BART and GPT-4. So, but it's creative text generator developed by uh, Illutal, Illutal AI based on GPT 3.5 Turbo. I'm not sure whether this is a fax or is this a hallucination, you know. So, GPT 4 is an advanced model, blah, blah, blah. Comparing the both model difficult, can be difficult, have different area of focus. So, this is actually a neutral answer as well. So, okay, fair enough. So, both actually give a neutral answer. But GPT-4 give actually a longer and maybe more meaningful discussion. Okay, guys, uh, this is actually some of the tests that uh, we are doing live here. And I can suggest that, you know, you go go go, go to sign up uh, this uh, BART uh, beta and compare by yourself, you know. So, and one more thing, one thing good is that, you know, uh, when you are doing some searches or maybe some generation in BART, you can actually see other drafts 
you know they have draft one draft two draft three so for example you know it's auto generated the different draft i think most of them most of the time if they want they actually uh, generate three drafts you know? so let's see this draft is what about okay this is a longer uh, description of uh, but and also gpt4 and let's see okay from what i've have seen and tested uh but's answer are basically they are uh, quite generic and robotic some of the answers because the language they use is actually a very simple english language you know so but for gpt4 the language they use could be difficult you no know, for this one that sometimes that you no know, uh, you ask them to use to generate uh gpt4 for business they actually go into detail on on how to actually use gpt4 you know uh, quite detailed outline here so guys uh, this is actually a very fast comparison between bart and gpt4 if you are interested to actually sign up uh, bart you know please go ahead i think it's actually free to, to sign up but it's only available for us and uk but there is a trick to actually get access so go to this uh, bart.google.com and set the vpn to usa or uk in your browser and you just sign up and they will send you a invite uh, they will approve your what it called a beta in, uh, invite uh, provided you actually sign up a, a google account no which means you must have a gmail account so guys this is uh, what we have seen uh, today uh, but versus uh, gpt4 and perhaps we can actually do more uh, comparison uh, in the next few days and many people would like to to test it out no let us know what is your comment no if you have tested and we'll see you in the next video thank you and goodbye again.